Hello everybody, we're going to take a look at the ArcGIS Indoor Space Planner today. I'm going to start with a plan that I have. We're going to look at the uh, Beckman Remodel plan here. And I'm going to open that plan. What it does is it'll open up my map. And as we can see here, um, on the left hand side, we've got people and units that are unassigned. So they don't have a place that they're assigned to yet. On the right hand side, I've got people and units that have already been assigned. And I can uh, choose my facility that I'm interested in and look at that. Uh, also, I got my floor picker, similar to what we've seen in the indoor viewer. Um, as we take a closer look here, uh, we want to kind of explore how we can use this. So basically, if we look on our, on our filters here, we've got the ability to filter unassigned people and we can filter by department or job title. And we can do the same thing over here on the right with people who have already been assigned, or we can also do that with units as well. So a really handy way to be able to filter and search who's in what spaces at this current time. Now, what I'm doing here is creating a plan. Um, so that's important to note. This is uh, something I can look and, and kind of toy with and tweak until I'm ready in, to implement that. We also have hot desks and hotel spaces that are available that we can move people in and out temporary or allow them to choose spaces uh, in the case of a hybrid work environment that can also integrate with Microsoft 365 as well. Uh, but you'll notice the darker color here on one of these. So this basically represents the uh, level of capacity that that room is filled with. So this room has a capacity of three and you can see I've got three people in here and that's why this room is having the current uh, the darker color at this time. So what I can do then is look at the folks who are unassigned and I can actually drag them into the map in a place that I know that has availability. And it'll ask me if I want to assign them, I can click yes. And you'll notice that my unassigned people is down to one. I only have one person left who doesn't have a spot. I can drag them into another space and I can click assign. And then you can see that those uh, locations have been populated with those people that I put into those spaces. Now, let's say um, in this situation, we have a scenario we'd like to do some remodel work. We have some renovation going on. And uh, let's say I need to find units and I'm going to filter unit 1305 as one of them. And I'm going to select that. And it's going to identify where that space is on my map. And as I zoom in there, Let's say for my scenario, I want to do some renovation on these three rooms here. Well, first of all, I need to unassign the folks that are in those spaces. And to do that, I'm going to select my tool down here on the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to highlight those people. So I'm going to select people and I'm just going to draw a box around those particular rooms. Now you'll notice that those folks have been um, highlighted and I can unassign them to that space. So I can click unassign and you'll notice it's asking me for the prompt there. Yes, I want to unassign them. And you'll notice then it moved those folks back over to my unassigned list on the left-hand side. So now that I'm ready, I want to, particularly I want to flag these rooms for my remodel work. And I want to uh, mark those as unassignable. So I click on each room and you'll notice under my settings, I can say disable assignments. And that's what I want to do to make sure that no people are assigned to those spaces uh, during this renovation work. And again, this is just a plan that I'm working on. Um, so as I you know, build my plan, when I'm ready to implement it, we'll show that here in a, in a few minutes. So now as I try to drag somebody into those spaces, we'll notice as I hover over, it does not allow me to drag those in because those are marked for renovation. They're unassignable currently. Okay, so I can also, um, again, unassign or assign large groups. So if we look at this, we'll notice here, um, I have the ability to filter by department. And as I do that, then I can assign groups or large groups of people uh, to a particular location. So let's say I wanted to assign the folks here that I have in my current list and it's, I can find a unit and let's say we want to assign them to we'll say 1215i 
and then we'll assign those there and we'll see that that's another way I can assign large groups of people. So essentially I can use that to assign or unassign large groups, including departments or an entire building at once. Okay, and before we're done, let's look here at our review tab up top. And the review tab is basically gonna highlight uh, what moves that we've made are part, as part of this plan. What are the plan moves that are need, gonna need to happen? So I've got Jean, uh, Rosita, and Roxy that are actually gonna move from rooms, and it tells you which rooms they're going to move to. Uh, Rodolfo and Sook have actually moved into new rooms they were unassigned previously. So now I can save this plan uh, until I'm ready to implement it. I can make comments on this plan as well. Uh, but this is my plan. And the key is once I'm ready, if we go back to our plans, when I'm ready to implement this plan, let's say construction is ready to start on my renovations, I can actually merge this. And what I'm going to do, it's giving me the options here. Do you want to get the changes from the default into the current plan or what I want to do in this case is I'm ready for construction to begin. I want to actually assign the changes in this current plan and merge them into my default plan. So I'm going to click merge and we'll see that that's running the process in the background. And now those folks um, have been, uh, my new plan has been implemented and I'm ready to take that into action. All right. Thanks for watching.